Hey guys and welcome back. So I thought we'd start a kind of like more like a vlog style video today because we haven't done these for ages. I don't know why, I just went off them for a bit and I think I just lost my confidence with them, honestly. And I think I've opted for more like sit down videos. I do feel like I miss just kind of like chatting about random things and like updating you on things going on in my life and just general like fitnessy chit chat stuff. So, so I thought we'd do a little vlog. I might take you to the gym. I don't even feel like, I feel like nervous about the idea of like filming in the gym again. If you're from the UK or probably also if you're not from the UK because I feel like we've banged on about it enough. Gyms haven't been open here for so long, like months, like the whole of 2021. We haven't had the gyms open and they are finally open again. They opened like two weeks ago and I've been loving it so much. Our gym is also super close to our flat so I can just walk there. It's easy. I think it just really, really helps me with motivation and just making sure I get the most out of my sessions. I feel like I need that, like going to a different space to do it. And in the first lockdown, I got in quite a good routine with workouts. I think it was like a bit of a novelty and also because it seemed to go on for like literally ever we all got used to doing home workouts and I'm just so over them I can't even tell you I'm so so over them so yeah, we go back to the gym and oh yeah just love it so much and just trying to get in a good routine generally I feel like I've had a few months of just having a very up and down routine I've had the odd week where I've felt super motivated I've been like yeah back on it eating really well, trying to eat out less, as in when I say eat out, I mean delivery takeaways, trying to do that less. And it's basically just been a, like an up and down thing the whole time. And I've had some weeks where I've been like, no, so rubbish, we've been in lockdown. Just, you know, eat what you want, feed your soul kind of thing. And yeah, now I'm like, just wanna get back to feeling really good. And it's not necessarily just about like losing fat or changing my body shape or whatever. It's about actually feeling good. I've just realized that I don't actually have like as much confidence um, when I'm not like eating and training well I just don't feel as much like myself or as healthy and as energized and just really want to get back to that so I'll try and take you to the gym with me today but don't hold me to it because I might be too nervous when I get in there but either way I will like talk through what I'm doing in the gym at the moment and everything like that just starting my day off with a big old water this is your reminder to get your water in if you haven't already I'm actually gonna make myself a really quick breakfast before we go to the gym because I'm not very good at eating, eating? Going to the gym fasted. I used to be good at it, but I, it takes me quite a while to get into that routine. I think I have to get my body used to it. I've always had, I think I've spoken about this on my channel before, but I, I'm pretty sure that I've got like a mild problem with my blood sugar, like droppings. So I get really faint if I don't eat regularly. And if I skip a meal or whatever, I just really feel it and I don't feel that great. So I personally opt for not training fasted. I have trained fasted previously but I just don't have as much energy and yeah like I said I have to just be like really really careful with it and I usually would have to go to the gym at like 6am 7am if I was to do that I tend to go around 9 at the moment just because that works for me so I'm gonna get something in really quickly and I'm just gonna have a bagel because we've got bagels and why not and Warburton's sorry that noise Warburton's have started doing sliced bagels and the New York bagels that they sell in the supermarket used to have a sliced version and they stopped doing them. I have no idea why because it was like the best thing ever because the one thing that always puts me off bagels is not having a sliced bagel. So yeah, we've got Warburton's pre-sliced bagels and I'm just going to have that with a little bit of like a vegan spread and Marmite. If you're a Marmite person, is there anything better than a toasted bagel with butter and Marmite? Honestly, 10 out of 10, every time. And if you're not a Marmite person, ask yourself, ask yourself if you've actually tried it since you were a kid, because I didn't know that I was a Marmite person until I went to uni and I realized that the only reason I wasn't is because I'd like seen one of my parents having it and been like, ooh, that looks disgusting. And I hadn't ever actually tried it and it's just so good. But yeah, make sure you have it on a bagel or toast with butter. <laughs> no! That is so mean! Where are you going for teasing me? So at the moment, my morning routine generally consists of eating breakfast in this order, eating breakfast, 
packing orders for my resistance bands if I have any and then walking to the post office. I've got like a little routine with the post office and I've got one of those accounts which I guess people who have like small businesses who go to the post office all the time have and it's like a, I don't know what it is, you basically just drop them there and then they have your account number and they just charge it to your account so you don't have to like queue up or anything which is obviously also really good for anyone waiting behind you in a queue because some days I will go and I have got quite a few orders. So today I've got a few orders that I can see on my system and then on the way back because that's like about it's probably like a seven minute walk away and then on the way back I go to the gym and then I come back and then I'll have like lunch or whatever and like start the rest of the stuff for the day. This is quite like a new morning routine for me I guess it's like not what I used to do obviously gyms haven't been open for ages and I didn't have my resistance bands before that so I wasn't going to the post office as much but that kind of works for me so I pretty much do that like almost every day in the week so I just thought I'd give you like a little insight into what goes on when I pack my order so it comes through on my Shopify it's like the back end kind of payment system that my website sort of linked to I don't really know the kind of ins and outs of it properly so I'll go on the website and see if I've got any orders and then these are my little bands if you've missed them in any of my other videos We've got the heavy one the medium one and the light one. I personally think that they are wonderful I actually just saw literally a second ago my friend Carly She has such a cute little daughter called Jax and she was doing a little workout um, And Jax was like holding the bands on her Instagram and I was like, oh my god, so cute but yeah, these are my bands and they're available in bundles or you can buy them individually. So you can buy like one or two or three, obviously quite self-explanatory. If someone buys one or if they buy two, I will pack them in this box. So this is actually a stamp. I think a few people think it was branded packaging and hopefully in future I will be able to do that. But I just have to be really careful on cost to be quite honest because I put so much of my savings into doing these resistance bands. So yeah, I stamp the accomplish on and usually just wait for it to like dry overnight. So if there are one or two bands, I'll put them in here. And then if there are three bands, they'll go in a slightly bigger box just because they don't quite fit in the other one. I really wanted to make sure when I was designing or like deciding on what packaging I wanted that there was going to be as minimal packaging as possible. So there's no plastic in there. I opted not to send like a little card that said, thank you for ordering as much as I love the idea. I just really wanted to make sure honestly that I like minimalized all the extra stuff that was going into it because at the end of the day it literally goes into someone's bin and it's obviously a lovely thing to be able to like read quickly but I doubt anyone really reuses packaging that I sent so I really wanted to make sure it was just a brown paper not bleached not with any excess fuss I just wanted to basically make sure that they were packaged as sustainably as I could and then so then they also come with these little bags so if you buy one or two they'll come with a smaller bag because two of them fit in here I'll show you actually because they look super cute I just love to sit when I see you guys like using them on my Instagram. I'm like, oh, I can't believe it. It's just like a really cute drawstring bag, which is 100% cotton, the little accomplish printed on it. And then if you were to buy three bands, they would come in a slightly bigger bag just to make sure that they all fit in like so. And they just look super cute. And that just kind of like helps you find them a bit easier in your gym bag or, you know, you can just like hang them up on the side if you use them at home. But yeah, it just keeps them nice and tidy. So yeah, if you do order from Accomplish, obviously I really appreciate it. I will make sure I put links to everything in the description box. My website, which is like my new site, now sells my guides and my bands, which is super exciting. We honestly spent months developing it and I'm really proud of it. But yeah, I do actually pack all the orders myself. So, you know, if there are any mistakes, you know who to blame. <laughs> guys so let's do a little lululemon haul so i was gonna do this as a separate video but i just thought let's integrate it into a vlog to just mix it up a bit and i kind of miss doing vloggy style videos but yeah did lululemon haul last week and i've just got this unhealthy obsession with looking on their website at the moment and they release new bits quite often more often than i actually thought that they did and yeah I just keep looking and being like oh i really fancy that i really fancy that i thought i'd try out a few new pieces and in fact 
these styles. I've realized I've never had any of these before, which is amazing. So I thought I'd just talk through them and I actually just tried all of them on so I can insert the clips and kind of like tell you how they fitted and everything. First thing that I got were the Wonder Train HR short in the six inch and really disappointed with these. I literally love the color so much. I really, really want to keep them. They just don't really fit me that well on the leg, to be honest. They fit really well on the waist, but the legs just dig into my thighs. And what I would have used to do, the old Annie would have been like, I'll keep them because when I lose weight or like when I lose fat, I will be able to fit them. And that's not what I'm like anymore. Like, why would I buy things that will potentially fit my body in the future? Like you should just buy things that are gonna fit your body now, not try and like make your body fit them, if that makes sense. So these are gonna be going back. I got them in a size four, which is my, just usual Lululemon size, always wear a size four. And yeah, maybe I could wear them in a size six. I don't know. I don't know they'd be a bit big on the waist. Cause like I said, up to here fits me perfectly. Honestly, if I felt a bit more confident in my legs, maybe I wouldn't care as much that they dug into the thigh bits, but I just do. And the whole point of clothes are to make you feel good, right? And fit your body well. So these are gonna be going back. Love the material though, love the color. I don't know if they do like another pair of leggings or shorts or whatever in this color, but I actually might try and invest anyway. I think it's a really cool color and it goes really well with a few of the other bits that I got. So yeah, these were a little bit of a disappointment, but I do think if you had slightly thinner thighs and they would fit beautifully. They do also have the adjustable waistband bit, which is quite nice. I didn't expect that, but I think I've messed up somewhere along the line with this Wonder Under order, but I'll explain later on. So next thing, I love this so much. I ordered one of the Like A Cloud bra and it's in the B slash C cup size four. I know I said in my actual Lululemon haul, definitely go and watch it. I'll link it in the like thing up here so you can go and watch it if you do want to because I tried on way more stuff in that haul. But Lululemon basically just have like different um, styles of bras for like different cup sizes and bra sizes and whatever. So this is their Like A Cloud bra, love it. Not really a lot else I can say. It fits me so perfectly, but super comfy. Obviously it's called Like A Cloud and it is so light. I can't even tell you. It feels like you're not wearing anything, but I just think this is such a beautiful bra and fits me so, so nicely. And often I find that these really cute, like dainty ones are almost like just not quite supportive enough, but this is like literally perfect on me. Another color as well, and I also got that in a size four. Next thing, the cutest little top. So I noticed Lee Lemon had a few of these little kind of throw over, just, they're just good for when you're not feeling super confident, like you don't really wanna wear like a full, you know, sports bra top kind of thing. And this is called the All Yours Crop Tank. Love it, definitely gonna keep it. This was 35 pounds. The Like Cloud bra was 48 pounds and the shorts were 48 pounds as well. So pretty expensive as Lululemon always usually is. But yeah, I got this in the same color as that other bra and I just think that's really nice. This is actually the second out of three things I got in this color because I seem to love it at the moment. So next thing, I tried to pick up another pair of the Wonder Under train tie in 25 inch and if you did watch my previous Lululemon haul you would have seen that I found like my favorite ever pair of Lulu leggings and I got them out actually these like zebra ones in the Wonder Under and I've somehow like messed it up slightly here we've not got the same material and it's a slightly different fit but these are such a nice fit really really love them just so soft they have a lovely waistband the reason why they're different though is because this pair of Wonder Under tights don't have anything on the waist they're just like a completely flat seam they're kind of just like a thicker version of the Align pants, which is why I love them so much. And somewhere along the line, these have gained like a drawstring bit. And I don't know whether they're called something slightly different. I don't know. I've obviously just not fully paid attention to it, but I got them in this like heathered dark gray color. And I think it's almost just more flattering than black. I don't know. I just really love these and love the fit, everything like that. I'm just trying to figure out whether I'm gonna keep these or try and see if I can find the same color in exactly the other style that makes sense. I don't know what I've done there, but the shorts and the leggings are the same. So I don't know, basically, no idea what I've done there, but they are a lovely pair of leggings. And I got them in the 25 inch leg, but they do obviously sell them in longer legs for people who are taller than five foot four. And these were 88 pounds. Next few things that I got are a little bit of a new thing from Lululemon for me. And they're kind of like a cropped tank top, but don't really show your stomach when you're wearing them. And I thought that would just be such a fabulous little thing to have in my wardrobe for days where I'm just not feeling like having my stomach out, but I still want something that kind of it's nice and like sleek and like shows your arms so 
<clears throat> this is the Ebb to Street RB crop tank. You probably would have seen that I tried on the Ebb to Street bra and really loved it. And yeah, I just thought I'd try this little ribbed tank top. So this is black, but it's like a little bit of a washed black kind of color, a really cute rib design. It's got a built-in bra, which is why I went for these two tops because I thought that's actually so convenient and handy. You're not gonna have like so many layers of things showing. I just love this so much. I know I'm gonna get loads of wear out of it. It's almost long enough for me to actually be able to wear it to play squash as well with like a skirt or a pair of shorts because it's not too cropped in length. And this is amazing, 58 pounds. So yeah, very expensive, but I also got this in a size four and I just think it's such a lovely, lovely design. One thing I don't like about wearing vest tops in the gym is I don't like if they're full length when they kind of like bunch up or you don't really know what to do with the excess bit because you kind of want it to go up to where your high waist leggings go up to, if that makes sense. So these kind of like solve that issue. So next top I got was the Align Tank. So this is meant to be like the top that goes with like the Align pants kind of thing. And I really, really like this. I don't like it as much as the Ebb to Street one. But it's honestly a completely different design anyway. It's just a bit more like booby you know, a bit more like that's not as like covered in that area, which is fine because it's super flattering and everything like that. But you know that I'll often opt for like a higher neck thing just because I do get a little bit self-conscious sometimes. But this is just such a lovely flattering shape. I'm definitely gonna keep this. This was 45 pounds for a little bit. I don't know why. I just can't figure out why this would be cheaper than the other one because it feels like it should be more expensive. It's made from that like lovely soft kind of like aligned pant material. So super soft, love the color as well. I don't know how I've suddenly got really obsessed with this color because it's not like a new color to come in, but I don't have loads of gym wear in this color. And again, it has a built-in sports bra. I don't know what it says in terms of what it, okay. Yeah, so it actually says intending to provide light support for an A or B cup. So I'm a little bit bigger than that. So it kind of makes sense that it's quite booby on me, but it actually it doesn't really matter. I just kind of fit into it anyway. It actually has like a really good description on all the Lululemon logos. Yeah, so light support, but these would be great for like upper body days. To be honest, anything where you're not like running and jumping loads. And yeah, love that. And we'll definitely be keeping as well. Might wear that for my gym session today, actually. The last thing I bought, a bit of a disappointment because I've obviously got the color wrong on the website. So it looked like it was red. And I was like, oh my God, that would be amazing. I love the color red. And it looked like it was a really like cherry red but it's come and it's um it's basically like fuchsia pink and as much as i really love the design it's just couldn't be further from like an annie color i'm just like really not into pink like it's honestly a very rare occasion if you see me in something pink like it's usually just because i like loved the design so much i'm just very not a pink person and especially like this color pink so yeah that will definitely be going back but it was called the muscle love crop tank and it says like an asterisk tough i don't know what that means but yeah i think it's really cute and i'm I might actually, when I next do a lemon order, <laughs> I might try and find this in a different color because I really love the design and the fit and it's a really nice like sporty material. This one is a very like cottony feel material, if that makes sense. So it's almost like a bit better for like athleisure or not like super sweaty workouts. But this one is made from like a lovely sporty material. So yeah, that rounds up our mini Lululemon haul. And I will obviously make sure I put the links in the description box if you do want to have a look. from the gym and I actually had to leave before I finished the last exercise. I think it was a superset at the end because I was 
so so hungry like i can't even tell you so hungry but i spent like an hour and a half nearly in the gym which is quite a long session for me i would usually only spend like an hour maximum usually or maybe just over an hour but it's not like i was training for the full time pretty much my gym is quite a basic gym like it's a really lovely gym it's called fitness space and um, if you're in london they have quite a few across london and it's a lovely lovely gym but it's quite small and boutique -y kind of thing so it means that they have limited equipment and one of the things that they don't have is a proper like pull up bar setups so they only have the one that's above the cable machines and they don't have an assisted pull up bar or anything and there's no obvious way to do like assisted pull ups in the gym so it only really works if you can do full ones and I haven't been able to do full ones for pretty much two years now but it is definitely one of my goals to try and get back to them because I actually really miss being able to do them it made me feel just so like strong and powerful so that's actually going to be one of my goals for kind of over the next few months but yeah I did see someone do a pull up on the cable machines you will have seen in that footage i kind of like tied a resistance band well clipped it into the carabiners at the end and it did work but it took me so long to figure out which resistance band and like which settings to have it on but i took a picture of all the settings i used so perfect but the workout that i did was from my accomplish reboot gym program which i've been following this is actually the third third week i think it's the third week and um, that i've been following it and that was one of the pull workouts so basically like back and bicep focus that's the one that i forgot to do at the end I really wanted to do some bicep curls. Well, that was the last exercise in the program. So yeah, I've been following that. So that's what it looks like when you have the app and it's just fabulous. I have to say, it's got like such perfect balance of pretty much like a push, pull, legs, split. Um, but the legs is, I've split into glutes and hamstrings and quads and calves and it's just fabulous. It's got some good sprinting sessions, some good ab exercises and things in there. So yeah, I've been absolutely loving doing that to be honest. And I will make sure I link it in the bio if you guys do want to also do it on the app as well. You can track like your reps and sets. And there's also like a little video for each exercise. So if you aren't too familiar with some of the exercises, you can see me do it. And then it's obviously just makes it all easier, doesn't it? I've been enjoying being back in the gym an awful lot. I just get really frustrated sometimes because obviously because of my knee injury, I'm really limited with what I can do. Like I can only do a really light setting on the cross trainer for cardio for example it's just all a bit frustrating but i actually wanted to update you guys on my youtube channel but pretty much on tuesday i had a phone call with my doctor the surgeon i guess who has been looking at my knee he's incredible he's like one of the top people to go to in the uk and i've been really lucky to be able to see him through the nhs which is obviously amazing and pretty much it was just like to go through the results of the i did this like ct tracking scan which tracks the way my kneecap goes if you are new here by the way i've suffered from a knee injury for the last year and a half and it's it's basically an inflamed Hoffa's fat pad as well as a few other issues and my body just isn't like recovering naturally so that's just a little bit of a backstory behind it but pretty much this scan was to kind of determine the next steps we need to see which way my kneecap was tracking and there were basically three options one was going to be another injection have previously had one of those and it hasn't um it didn't help me and then one was a surgery where they drill into the bone to get my kneecap to sit back where it's meant to be and then the other one which is the one that they have decided is the best one for me and I'm actually going to end up having some of the Hoffa's fat pad cut out which sounds really extreme but I actually think it's a really really simple surgery I think it's keyhole surgery and I asked lots of questions about the recovery time and things and it's going to be a six week recovery I'm going to have two weeks where I can't really walk that well like I'm going to have really really take it easy and then another four weeks of not really being able to like train lower body but I will be able to train upper body and considering I will have had the injury for like nearly a year and a half six weeks doesn't sound like a long time to me but they said that I am now on the waiting list they put me through it as priority just because of my age and the nature of my job as well it obviously like hinders my lifestyle a lot at this age but they said it will be a minimum of two months waiting time so I'm not getting my hopes up and it'll just be a bit annoying if I have an operation in the middle of summer because it's obviously going to be and um, yeah just made me have to like really really slow down but not to worry it's still step forward and I'm kind of excited about it I know that sounds weird and um, <laughs> I actually am just because I feel like it's been such a like long time coming I've just it's just honestly taken over like my entire life this injury so I think it's good news personally so yeah a little update for you guys I'm actually going out for dinner tonight so I need to go and shower and get ready for that so I might wrap up the vlog here actually because I know what's going to happen I'm going to forget to vlog later on and then probably have to end it tomorrow morning so we'll wrap up here but thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it let me know if you've enjoyed this like more vloggy style of video these are actually my favorite ones to film i love filming these kind of things but yeah just let me know what you think and subscribe if you do want to stick around and i'll see you in my next video